Hey YouTube, it's been a little while since we talked about the YSR. So this is the Resto Mod Part 2. So since you've last seen the YSR, I've taken this, some stickers off and I've done a lot more work. So now I have a box from Spiegler. And I like this company. Well, I've not seen inside, but I cut the box. You can see what's in it. Here we go. Okay. This is my new custom brake line to adapt a GSXR radial master cylinder to an R1 four piston caliper. So you can see the custom bracket that I've made, and obviously these were never designed to go together. So I should have all the braking power that I could ever need or want. And it's really overkill and I'm aware of that. But this was 25 bucks to the door. Well, it was 30 to rebuild the stock caliper. Well, so that makes no sense. And I really wanted a Brembo, but I can't justify a Brembo for a YSR. You know, it makes 10 horsepower so for now. So here's the YSR. Happy, healthy. Now running on Motul 802T. Mixed at 32 to 1. There's very little smoke, it's faint. If I went to 50 to 1, I'm sure it would go away, but I really don't want to do that. I'll let you listen to it. website they tell you how to measure for a brake line and it's not a straight linear measurement you really need to loop it around to allow some flex for the brakes and then also your forts need to be at max extension naturally so here's the custom line the banjo that Spiegler made and then I went through the stock bushing there now this is a little bit different normally I would use the factory setup for the brake line and put that to the left of the stop that's built in. But when that happened, then the brake line was looped way out here to the side and then it went up and I really wanted to use the stock bushing to keep things in place. Now this is a really nice line, super fine mesh, covered in plastic, bought new banjo bolts, so everything looks good. Now the R1 caliper on the YSR is rotated kind of retarded, you know, just going counterclockwise from where the stock position is on the R1. So that changed things. Now, I didn't have a lot of room to get all of this to work out. I used the stock mounting and then, so I'm, I'm fixed in this relationship and this relationship, but because of the pin hitting the rotor, then there weren't too many places that I could put the caliper. So, if I had to do this again, I would try to rotate the entire setup clockwise a little bit. I think I could get a few degrees out of it, but this is my first one. Also, another problem that I had was that the rotor could not be in the center line of the caliper where the pads are because the YSR has wheels that are bolted together. And then that caused interference and it wouldn't rotate. The first one that I made happened to be in the middle, and I thought, this is great. And then I put it together, and I tried to rotate it, and it went about 10 degrees, and it was locked up. So I had to make another one, and then slightly offset it this way just a little bit. So when you do this, you got to think of the ratio for the brake system. So what you do is you figure the area of each bore inside here, and then total those, divide that by the area of the piston bore in the master cylinder. Now when we go to a bigger bore and we get a firmer cylinder, we are decreasing the leverage ratio. That's why it's firmer. Now road racers like that because the brake lever stays far away. The street guys, they generally like small diameter levers, so they get better feel, but it takes a mile of, of travel. Now this one is, this is locked up. This is not going anywhere, this is it. So this brake setup really is the definition of wooden feel. 
So if I had to do this again, I would go to a smaller diameter master cylinder. So if you're working on your own, definitely go smaller. I believe these are 17. If you're at 14 or something like that, I think you'd be very happy with it. Now I wanted a radial master cylinder and I didn't want to pay for a Brembo or Magura or things, something like that. So I didn't want the cheap Chinese versions. They have such a terrible reputation that I won't touch them. So I wanted OEM quality, so I got it. But doing that also limits me in the bore size that I can get. Now I could have another brake line made and that would fix everything. More money is always the solution to problems, right? But for now, it's gonna stay like this. I'll see what I can find. I may have a, uh, an old FZR 400 master cylinder laying around. I'll look for that. But it stopped really well. It's just high effort. But this thing has excellent brakes.